Nelson Piquet's racial insult was condemned by Lewis Hamilton, F1 in an interview following the 2021 British Grand Prix. Info 366 provides significant trending stories from business, technology, movies, sports, videos, photos and many more every day, so subscribe now and turn on the notification bell for regular updates, give it a like and leave your thoughts in the comments section below, alright let's get started with today's story. Nelson Piquet, a three-time Formula One world champion, has come under fire from Lewis Hamilton for referring to him in an interview in a racial manner. After last year's British Grand Prix, when championship rivals Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen crashed on the opening lap at Silverstone, the 69-year-old Brazilian used the pejorative word in a podcast recorded in Portuguese. This week, word of the podcast surfaced. Piquet, the father of Verstappen's girlfriend Kelly, used a racial slur when criticizing Hamilton for how he handled the first corner of the race. Hamilton was fortunate to stay in the race, Piquet continued. It's more than words, the seven-time world champion wrote on Twitter on Tuesday. These outdated viewpoints must shift because they have no place in our sport. My entire life, these attitudes and targets have been all around me. There has been plenty of time to learn. Time has come for action. He also tweeted in Portuguese, let's focus on changing the mindset. F1 issued the following statement on Tuesday in response to Paquette's use of the term, discriminatory or racist language is unacceptable in any form and has no part in society. Lewis is an incredible ambassador for our sport and deserves respect. His tireless efforts to increase diversity and inclusion are a lesson to many and something we are committed to at F1. Mercedes, Hamilton's team, also released the following statement. We condemn in the strongest terms any use of racist or discriminatory language of any kind. Lewis has spearheaded our sports efforts to combat racism, and he is a true champion of diversity on and off track. Together, we share a vision for a diverse and inclusive motorsport, and this incident underlines the fundamental importance of continuing to strive for a brighter future. This weekend, Formula One makes a stop at Silverstone. As part of its commitment to becoming carbon neutral by 2030, Formula One intends to launch a sustainable fuel in 2026. The use of synthetic fuel will coincide with the debut of the sport's newest hybrid engines in the same year. F1 expects that the fuel will be adopted by the auto industry and used in regular internal combustion engines. Only 1% of cars worldwide, according to the BBC, were hybrid or electric in 2020. F1 wants to be a force in raising that percentage in coming years. In addition, it has taken various other actions to fulfill its promise to be carbon neutral, like utilizing remote broadcasting to cut down on shipping costs. F1 plans to replicate last year's British Grand Prix's first carbon neutral broadcast production at Silverstone this week. In order to be transported globally by more efficient aircraft, F1 has also changed its freight containers. If you enjoyed this story, make sure you click on the like and subscribe buttons and leave us a comment. Thanks for watching.